Hello, I'm Orbiter, your Welsh engineer, and welcome to single stage to orbit and single stage to landing with rockets. Yes, I've decided to give space planes a break on the SSTO front and try out rockets, see how they perform. Now, obviously, SSTOs are not as efficient as staged rockets or staged space planes, but not that we do staged space planes that much these days. It seems SSTOs have become a bit of a thing. If you can't do an SSTO, then it's not worth doing it. But my thoughts differ. I still prefer rockets over SSTOs. One, because SSTOs are hard. You need the extra delta V to get the extra delta V up into orbit and to do your mission. So, yes. This one, I'm just doing a quick testing out. The idea of this is that we have to get this capsule up into orbit with uh, this little rocket, basically. And then we turn this around and return it back to the KSC for landing. Now, I've got a couple of tries for this. Basically, we're going to try it and do a powered landing. I think I've got MechJeb, yes, I've got MechJeb installed on this, so we could do an automated landing. Or, third option, we have some parachutes. Yes, we've gone for the wissy way of landing. Although, it is the more guaranteed way of landing, as long as you don't open them when they're red, or they're coloured red in the indicator section and the staging section. Now, while we are re-entering the atmosphere in all this fiery glory and using the air brakes, even though they probably break off in real life, the way would this rocket, an SSTO rocket or an SSTO space plane be handy? Now, truly, uh, what would we actually use it for? Nothing. Let's get this straight. An SSTO is only good in Kerbal Space Program because it is spectacular. What we'd need is a system like what SpaceX has already, SpaceX has already got, and that is uh, launching up, return the launch stage, and any other boosters. But what they haven't done yet is return the booster stage. Now we've done that in KSP, and you know a couple of YouTubers have. I haven't gone to do that yet, although I may do at one point. But practically, that is what we require. That is what we need. Um, oh yeah, the first landing. We've uh, landed near the coast, not too close to the KLC, but uh, we lost the landing legs and some rockets. I tried to use the parachute at the last moment, but it failed. Again. So as the computer says, we do it again. Luckily, I made a quick save just as just before we deorbit it, so I can tweak where we're going to land, and then hopefully, when I get the landing site correct, we do another quick save to when we're re-entering. At least that's the theory. Until we get this right. Now air brakes on gear out, I engage the auto land, and then Megjep decides, uh, yeah, I can't do this. <laughs> so, last moment, but we fail. Again. So, this is our third attempt. Now, we've got the landing position, or the landing location, down to a T. This is very close. The recovery crews won't have to spend much time or money to land there, uh, to land, to get there. We have a problem with the roll control, but we landed with just the loss of the landing legs and everything else has survived, so this is reusable. Again. But it seems the computer wants a perfect landing. So let's disable roll control. I think that's what I did about here. And engage the brakes at the last moment. So we land near the KRC. I wanted to try to get as near as possible. And yes, you guessed it. The best way to ensure your survival on landing is parachutes. All I can say here is that aerodynamic rules. Unless you're in space, that's obviously. So, if you're not in a vacuum, use parachutes. Obviously, we need to apply a bit of thrust because we are coming down a bit quick for the weight of this rocket. But it survived. But that's not all. Let's go bigger. And when you go bigger, let's go with explosions. This is the only way to launch from the space pad with anything of any size. Uh, yeah, that wasn't intended, by the way. That was just accidental, and I thought that was awesome. So every time you launch that, especially with that launch clamps, it explodes, destroys the launch pad. It is a bit annoying because you have to get... Every time you build something and test it out, it says you can't launch it. And you can't repair it from the vehicle assembly building. So you have to exit the vehicle assembly building, repair it, and then launch your rocket. Anyway, let's get Jeb, Bill, and Bob on their mission. And whoops, I staged the, the wrong stage. So that means they're stuck in orbit. Never mind, we've lost three Kerbal lives in the pursuit of science of SSTOs and SS 
ATLs, or single stage to landing. Looking back at this footage, I realized perhaps I should have put landing legs on this. And that's because the landing legs, they can survive much more of an impact. So yes, if you're going to do anything for this landing, especially on curbing, also, when you're re-entering with the shuttle-type engines that we're using on this, I suggest that you rotate the spacecraft because now and again one of them would explode and that's because of overheating. However, just rotating the spacecraft seemed to help them survive. At this point though, I wasn't trying to roll the spacecraft, it's because the lower control surfaces, uh, they don't help with the roll controls. And also, Mech Jeb was trying to hinder my ability to land because it would limit the thrust to the max Q. However, luckily we disabled it in time, but not in time to keep control of the craft. And the engine survived, taught to me of my bad landing. Again. But I say you shall survive, even if I have to kill every Kerbal on this planet. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm not Danny, I shouldn't be saying that. Anyway, let's try to land this. <laughs> we ran out of fuel. I was trying to do a gentle landing, but obviously that didn't work. Again. This time I decided to overshoot the ocean to the ocean a bit further, and perhaps a softer landing in the ocean. But I remembered, in the old versions of Caspi, the ocean would destroy anything that touched it. It must be made of acid or something. So my past experience with the oceans ended up like this. Again. And then this is where everything went wrong. Every time I quick loaded after doing a quick save, this close to the chaos scene because I thought, oh, this will save a lot of time, one of the rockets kept on exploding. No matter what I did, I could have used cheats, but I didn't want to. Uh, it just didn't survive. So, with the death of this rocket, for the final time, we shall try something else. Yeah, it's a more slimmed down version, I think. And we have some new Kerbals here because uh, Jeb, Bill and Bob are stuck up in orbit. We have Trimon, Jory and Gus Kerman. Gus is an awesome Kerbal, but he's going to have to be in orbit. Let's hope that uh, they don't get stuck in orbit. As you can see by the landing rocket, I've re removed the lower control surfaces. They seem to be hindering more than helping. And hopefully because the direction has reversed, I've moved will turn the winglets around and switched off the roll control of the rocket. At least I do normally when we re-enter. I have also added some RCS or the Venera engines to give RCS control. That is basically because, well, it helps in space and the extra control will help when we land it. Obviously, still do the roll control. As you can see, the overheating almost destroyed one of the engines. The only problem with this I quick saved after doing the deorbit, thinking, oh, we'll go, we'll land near the KSC. Uh, but again, we'll, we get a bit short. So, yes, I tried to leave the brakes off as long as possible and come in for landing last second, but crash. Okay, that's the first attempt. So, we failed the first attempt. Let's try again. Okay, I quick saved at the wrong moment, which means that uh, we were not going to be landing near the KSC. And I realized that the uh, the hills below us aren't exactly 100% flat, which makes landing on rocket engines a bit hard. But I'm going to give it a go. Okay, too hot the second time. I'm not going to give up. I will do whatever it takes to save this rocket. No, please stand, please. Again. No! Again! Don't leave me! I cannot let you die. I will try and try again until you survive. No! Anyway, after many attempts later and self-destructing the rocket, just because I got frustrated, we ended up with this. Yes, come on. Soft landing, but no! <laughs> oh, look at that! 
That's the most amount of rocket we've saved on this landing. Yes, and every attempt, uh, I just lost it. I should have put landing legs on it. So this is what we learned. Remember, in thrust we trust, but in aerodynamics we survive celestial mechanics. In other words, use a parachute. I'm Orbiter. Thank you for watching.